Hi, it's Chester Topper at Blue PK and Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at aligning and distributing shapes in a PowerPoint presentation. So we'll start off with some basic shapes that we'll insert via the Shapes menu on the Insert tab. I'm just going to choose a rectangle and I'll click. Now a shortcut key for copying a shape is Control D. So if I do that a few times, let's create quite a few. And we'll look at some easy ways of aligning and distributing. Now, by far the easiest way is to use these little guides that you can see, horizontal guides, that show me that I'm aligning the this shape with the shape that's already in my drawing. So if I add another shape, you can see the alignment guides there as well, but also you'll see these little spacing indicators, little arrows, that show me that I've evenly distributed the shapes and this will also work if I try and do it vertically. You'll see I'll get those little indicators, those little arrows to show that I've evenly distributed the shapes vertically. And once you get a kind of pattern of squares you'll see you'll get both vertical and horizontal alignment guides. So that's a really easy way of aligning and distributing. Now let me just show you another way that you might enjoy. If you've got shapes already on a slide, they're kind of all over the place and you don't want to manually have to drag things around, this is what you could do. So I'll select the shapes by drawing a selection box around them. And then what I can do is I can go to this format tab that's created uh, when I select drawings, uh, shapes rather, and then I can use this button here, align. Now you've got a lot of align options here. I want to align these shapes to the top edge of the shapes. So there we are, I've got the alignment, but I can also use distribution, horizontal. So this would also work for vertical distribution. If I selected those shapes, I could align them, say, to the left, and I could align them, uh, distribute them vertically, and that would work in the same way. Now, some other little tips that you might find useful. If I go to the View tab on my ribbon, I've got some options here for showing, and one of them is to show guides. Now initially, when you turn that on, you get one guide, one vertical guide, which you can drag around, and one horizontal guide that you can drag around. And the idea here is that you can just place your shapes on those guides, so you know that everything is aligned, even though those shapes might be some distance from each other. Now you can create further guides by holding down control and dragging a guide and then you can do some further alignment. You'll also see that the little uh, automatic guides show as well but you may find these additional manual guides that you've put on quite useful. I can also copy the horizontal guide so I might align a shape to that. If you want to get rid of a guide, it's just a matter of dragging it off the slide and it will just disappear. Now the next thing I'll show you is this use of grid lines. If I tick that box, you can see you've now got little squares all over your uh, slide. The idea here again is that you can align things to these grid lines. Now if I click on this little launcher button here, there are some other options. Quite important is this option, Snap Objects to Grid. That makes it easy to align the shapes to the grid. you notice that once that option is on, the shapes kind of jump to the grid lines. Finally, you can go in here and change how many grids you have per centimeter. So if I said two, you notice there are less dots on the grid. You may find that easier in terms of aligning things onto the grid.
Another option that you uh, may find useful is using the F4 key on your keyboard to repeat the last action. So for example, if I wanted to copy this square, I can hold down control and drag the square and I make sure it's aligned and the space I've got between the two shapes is correct. And then if I press F4 on my keyboard, it repeats the last action so I know that the shapes are both aligned and distributed equally across the slide. So this video has been about aligning and distributing shapes within a PowerPoint slide. It's been Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. Thanks very much for listening.